Alright guys, welcome back to the Brain Ultra Impact video. On today's video, we're gonna do the updated version of the UR tier list. Uh, before we start now, when I'm playing the game one month plus, I need to say I understand it much, much better. So I did a lot of changes on my UR tier list. Not certain how much changes, but I can guarantee you it is different than the first UR tier list that I've done, okay? I left out the brand new Todoroki, I mean, the new Todoroki red one and Dobby because I still didn't put them in certain tier, at least not in the video, in the head, I already know. Uh, leave a like guys, subscribe and tell me your opinions in the comment section below. I would really like to hear them. Now, let me explain just a few stiff, a uh, few stuff stiff, what? <laughs> okay, so here it is. I put the units in S, A, B, C, D. Uh, by the end of the video, I'll add also the god tier and I'll put there a few units I'll see maybe I'll do that. Maybe not but I believe the two units deserve that spot in my eyes Maybe even three but then again, it's really hard to tell but this is this is my current tier list This is where I stand by it. I just want to do like a few changes right here like for example, I want to create an S tier uh, like S tier Okay, I want to put them in order from the best to the worst from the S tier. Like in my eyes, Shoto Todoroki is still the best. Then Nejirim, then Blue Kirishima, honestly, he is freaking insane. But I will put Aizawa third. Why Aizawa third? Because this guy, I use him in every single activity. Literally in every single activity. PvP, VE Tower, USJ, Story Mode everything pvp is incredible pvp unit i believe that aizawa deserved that third place in my eyes that's how it is then this blue hiroshima or even red hiroshima both of them are insane with the covers uh with the barriers with the counters so much beautiful damage so annoying in every single activity but then again i believe bakugo is a uh, slightly better than this Okay, then the rest of them, I really don't know so much. It's really hard to say. I'll put Todoroki here, Deku. I, I, I put the Uraraka on the S tier because in my eyes, healing, evasion, and most of the stuff, I use it in every activity. And she's extremely, extremely good. Now, A, B, C, and D tier are not, like, not put from the worst to the best. So here... Bakugo is first, but that doesn't mean he's the best from the A tier. I just want to make clear. Now, uh, a lot of you really think that this Hawks is not good. I disagree. I use him in JP. I had a lot of fun with him. Like, let me open him up. On the paper, yeah, he doesn't look too good. Like, inflicts 350 when you skill damage by 40 when speed buff is critical damage by 30 like he crits insane when speed buff is active increase skill damage by 45 when speed debuff is active decrease defense by 15 percent overall if he gets that speed buff he's like and perverts debuffs for two to two times like okay i'll put him in like high b tier okay i cannot put him in the same like this Hawks, okay, like this Hawks is really, really good with his instant evasion for everyone. Now, Shinzo, in my eyes, he's A tier. He's not the best unit, but he can bind only with his action skill. I know it's a low chance, but extremely important. Then he can decrease defense and speed. Extremely important, like VE Tower, really good. PvP, if you use him in the right team, really good. USJ, why not? But not too crazy. So overall, I in my eyes, Shinzo is like low A tier. But as I said, I didn't put A, B, C, or D tier from the worst to the best. Okay, it's pretty much they're all there. Now, like Momo, for example, she's like probably one of the best A tier units for sure. Even maybe low S tier. But in my eyes, like, Uraraka is slightly better than Momo. Even if Momo, yeah, with his her Ultra Plus, she can, like, do crazy buff to your uh, units. In a sense, she can increase your Plus Ultras for your 
units so that's incredible um this toga is really good so a tier overhaul really good i've been using this bakugo honestly and he's really good purple unit red all might is really good all for one really good okay b tier like hawks sh uh, shigaraki might be better than hawks but as i said the order doesn't matter shigaraki to the uh this free all might in my eyes b tier uh, i was thinking Denkin c tier but then again one of the best units who does aoe plus ultras like the best damage but then she, he inflicts self damage and he can paralyze so all of that it's somewhere in the b tier yellow bakugo b tier and this purple isava b tier and yeah th th yeah this would be my final uh tier list c units i put from the best to the worst in my eyes and then a units from it doesn't matter okay they're like all a tier okay so now when we're done with that I believe now we can uh, talk about the new units, okay? The last new unit was Dabi, okay? So let's open it up and the Todoroki. I want to analyze them a little bit more further. And uh, this Todoroki, overall, he does a lot. I used him on my secondary account. Oh, by the way, I need to work on my second account. I'm terrible. Been lazy a little bit, few days now. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. But inflict 650, decrease defense for three turns if the opponent has frostbite. So he's really the pet. Like, you, if you don't apply force bite nor burn to your opponents, this Todoroki will be okay, but nothing too great. Low chance causing force bite. Also increased character plus ultra guy. Like overall, yeah, he will get plus ultra fast. Like all Todorokis pretty much get it fast. Yeah, he will do crazy damage. Um, yeah, he can burn, he can frostbite. Okay. He can decrease speed. Uh, also increase skill damage. But he is really good, usable in most of the activities, especially PvP. But I'll put him in A tier. Like, he doesn't deserve the S tier in my eyes. Green to the rock in my eyes is still better. Sorry if some of you won't agree. But I see this green to the rock just being better. He just works better in my eyes, okay? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I use too much this green to the rock. Maybe I love him too much. But in my eyes, he's just better. Okay, um... One more thing. Maybe I should put like this. I'll, I'll put it like he... I don't know, he might be like low C. Okay, I'll put him low C tier than this deck could be. Okay, so that's that. Really good in PvP, but the rest of it, you need to hit that Frostbite, that Burn, so he can work really good. Okay, now let's see the Dobby, okay? Dobby, also on the paper, looks incredible. I watched the Hydra Showcase. And I expected much more. Maybe if he was used in a little bit, sometimes better setup. Like, but yeah, Hydrus is right. Um, in PvP, Dobby doesn't work too good. He dies off really fast. Maybe if you create like villain team, like with all for one than one healer or something, there you lower skill impact of your opponents. You lower his their attack then your dobby can last longer and then he can mess you up with the burn dobby is not a great pvp character in most activities he'll be really good like high chance of burn 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 hellfire burn <laughs> decrease power medium chance of burn high chance of burn but then the here it is he inflicts self burn he inflicts self damage he's not that tanky so he will die out, die out fast. He's pretty much here to do the crits, do the burn, do the damage, and die. That's pretty much that. That's like, trust me, I watch Hydra Showcase. You can check it out for yourself. But in my eyes, Dubby, 8 tier also. Like, PvP Todoroki is better, PvE Dubby is better. I, I would put it like this, okay? Uh, but definitely not worth of S tier, both of them. Okay, guys, so just wanted to do an updated version of the UR tier list. Didn't want to uh, didn't want to go now one by one character explaining everything. I just know I'm like much, much more sure, certain and much more confident about this tier list that now I have created. 
because now I have like much better understanding of the game than in the beginning. I will do also the updated version of the reroll tier list, so you're gonna have like better chance or better knowing what to do. But that's pretty much it. Love ya, leave a like guys and subscribe. And yeah, see you next one. Bye.